boy. Ah. I know this phone can only record at five minute bits, but that bit is. Excuse me, why? I need a puppet. I feel naked. What? I don't know how to respond to that. I I, I just really need a puppet. <laughs>I bought one once, and I haven't had it for a week, and, like, one of the ears ended up breaking, so I had to use my hot glue gun to fix it. And it's fine now, but it's like, I only have them for display. I don't play with them at all, just for looks. And he haven't played with it, and the ear came off. Made in China. Well, it's not just how they're made in China. It's just, it's just usually the joints that's in between from the head to the ear. It's, like, it's very thin. And you can, like, break it easily. Like, I can, like, put, like, minimal effort just to break it off. Oh, yeah. I have, like, a Freddy Fazbear action figure. My Nana got made two years, a few years ago. Like, round when FNAF 3 was coming out. Yeah. And, uh, the joints come apart easily, but I'd say it's a very well-made action figure. I mean, the, the faults are the joints, but that's about it. Yeah, and I mean... It, and I don't... And it was not made by Funko. Yeah, it's like the des the detail and the design isn't terrible. I'll admit that they've at least done a decent job, but it's just the what's the, what's the best way to put it? Um, I guess maybe it's just how they're made is kind of the big thing. Like detail, you could do a good amount of detail on a toy, and it's like they could, but they could break easily with just like you could just drop it, and it can fall on a carpet flooring, and it can end up breaking. They're the action figure equivalent of Walmart bicycles. They suck. Hallelujah. Okay, so, yeah, the I do think that maybe they should put more effort into at least making it where the toys aren't as breakable. But, I mean, you know, they're made of plastic, so of course they're going to break. But at least maybe try to put a little more effort into making them a little less breakable. I don't want toys to be breakable, period. Well, that I mean, break, but I mean, that's usually I mean, I already age. written the entire game of hardest circuits, and I just need some a development team. The hands on my joints are too screwed up to actually write on paper good, and my computer skills are like luster. Mm. I know this is a shameless plug, but hear me out. Right. Right. I wrote a whole game on a notebook. You might want to keep a copy of that somewhere. No, I just have a lot of spare time, boy. Some of those... What, what year were those good? Those G.I. Joes from? The 60s and 70s. Mm, 70s. I think... I imagine my... I think my dad's got a few <clears throat> um, uh, action figures that he's <clears throat> kept in his box. Uh, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like that little dude and that guy. Leatherface? Yes, Leatherface. That's his name. Oh, a a anyway. If there's, like, any merch with the game, there will be no NFTs. Like, because... For moral reasons. I only believe in toys that people can play with. I want action figures. I don't want there to be the whole fun code where it's just garbage merch. So, yeah, I, I'll admit, Funko, what's the one thing that really surprised me about Funko is that during, like, the creation of FNAF Security Breach, this was, like, before even, like, a trailer came out, I think. It was either a teaser or a trailer. Um, <laughs> they ended up releasing merchandise about it even before the characters were even introduced. And oh, honestly, and I heard and Scott was pissed. Oh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't blame him for being pissed. 
We love you, Scott. Mm-hmm. Thank you for literally everything. That guy deserves... There will be no other indie developer that's like him. I mean, as t- talented, I mean, yeah, there could be someone else, but I mean, personality-wise. Yeah. We need to get you a hand puppet. That would, This would be hilarious. These people looking at, like, what, a, a, a hand puppet? I look like Ubi without eyes. So, yeah, there's, like, what's really funny about certain toys is, like, they can be really good, but it's, like, it just seems that over time some some of them just lose lose their quality and they just lose taste to how they once were. Like, those, uh, like those Easy Bake Ovens, those things were stupid to me. Yeah, even when I was a kid, those things were gay. Yeah, they were not the greatest. I think I, I remember my sister had one once. Um, let's see. They. I remember getting knockoff Legos, and I and it sucked. Yeah, it it, it did suck. I can imagine they were not. Those are not the greatest Legos. I'm just surprised that the companies that sell them don't get sued by the Lego company. But it's like, I Lego. guess. If you're listening to this, sue your knockoff. Yeah, what's really amazing about Legos is that they they I don't think they will ever die. Like Legos, they no, will just I, be I'm around. I'm a third forever. generation Lego builder. My grandfather has been building with Legos since he was a kid, and I still have Legos from many decades, like from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Like my uncle was playing with Legos, and it was mixed into my grandfather's Legos, and I and I had a lot of sets too. Oh yeah, I bet you do. Because Legos, you can't go wrong with Legos. They, I, they're probably, it's something that every generation should deserve to experience. So yeah, I really do think that with when it comes to toys, um, Legos is one of the one of the few toys that will has never really died out in popularity. And, ah, idea. But while other toys, it just seems that they just die off and they kind of just, either it's because of how they're treated or just, fad. yeah, the fat, it's a fad as well. I mean, I don't want any, I don't want my stuff to be a fad that dies off quick. I just want my stuff to just be around, you know? Yeah. Well, thank Seven. you guys for watching. This is the Autistic Five. Duo and uh, we'll see you next time on the next random topic. He's going to fondle my... <laughs>